Welcome to the SC2K show. Um, it is about 3, 4, or 5 a.m. our time, and uh, I'm on a sugar rush here. And so this is a podcast where we're really going to be random and go off the top of our heads here, as we're going by no format at all, as I am joined by Bear13, yeah. Jman 46241 we Guy 309 and for the first time with us, uh, Darth Gentu or Co- Co-Snap Frasnova, Casanova. co sure. Frasnova. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the founder of ECW Helper. So there you go. <laughs> and this With podcast. Now explosive macaroni. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this podcast will be about the worst video games we've ever played in our life. Sweet. The games that really haunted our childhood and still haunts us to this day. And ga- games that really made people like AVGM popular. <laughs> um, and the first thing I probably want to talk about, I guess I'll go ahead and get it started is obviously Action 52. You might say, hands down, that's pretty much the worst game ever made. I mean, it's some of the games don't even work at all. And, like, Alfredo don't even work. I think another game in there, I don't remember the name of, and I don't want to remember the name of, don't work. Um, or some, a lot of the games in there, pretty much every game has programming glitches, or if you get to the end of Cheetah Man, I think, you find a monkey at it glitches and freezes up on you. I think it was Cheetah Man 2, actually. Cheetah Man 2. Okay, yeah. And so, yeah, Action 52, I mean, I'm glad I didn't play this. Even I didn't even know about this game until a few years ago. I never heard about it when I was a kid. And the game was like $200. And I guess back then it made sense because, you know, like 52 games in one cartridge. And at the time, if I would have seen this when I was a kid, I would have said, Oh, Daddy. I want to buy this game. 52 games in one? Oh, what could be better than that? And then I would have played it, and I would have been like, are you kidding me? Eight eyes is better than this. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, this, I mean, so actually 52, I'm glad I didn't play that game when I was a kid, but I played it here re- in recent, uh, recent years. I played like, well, a year or two ago, and I did a uh, let's check out of it on YouTube, I think two or three parts, and I was, there was no way in hell I was going to do a 52-part video like that one kid from Ireland did I don't know his name but he actually played all 52 action 52 games and showed all of his flaws there was no way I'm going to do that I don't have enough patience to do that he probably uh, committed suicide after yeah. he, he did all 52 games <laughs> actually that that video series made him a partner no I'm just kidding but um, I mean yeah but action 52 I mean did any of you guys play that when, when you were a kid no, I never I heard like, of it oh yeah before. Yeah. I had never heard of it um, either then. But I, I want to say something else about that. Okay, think of a kid back then wanting that game. $200. Okay, if, if you talk your parents in, into getting a game that costs 200 bucks, you're not getting any of the games for a while. Yeah. And so then you're stuck with that. That makes it even worse. Ugh, that's a, that's a good imagine. point. Yeah. That's a. I never thought of that. It's yeah. like, all right, son. Now this there's game. Your, there's your Christmas. There's your birthday. <laughs> We're no. done. Two years worth of allowance. <laughs> I, I bet. I bet you, if that was me getting that game for Christmas, I would have been just. I, I would have had the same look on my face that Eric Mann Super had when playing <laughs> Where's Waldo for the NES, where he first played. All right, yeah, big smile on his face. Then a few minutes later, he kind of smiles, but it's starting to frown. Then oh, a few yeah. minutes later, he's he's frowning. He's miserable. That's what I would have done if I started if I played that game when I was a kid as a Christmas present. That yeah. would ruin a whole Christmas break from school. It would have ruined the the this stuff. Pro- probably ruined video games for me for a while. I probably wouldn't want to play no more. <laughs> Bad taste oh. in my mouth. Oh God, yes it would. Have. I mean, oh man, just imagine that. What J Man said. I never thought about that. You know, yeah. you wouldn't I mean, have any other games. <laughs> yeah, he does. Be game. Son, you got fifty-two games. All right, you got to wait a while. Like five years. <laughs> yeah, but like six of them play. <laughs> yeah, and they all suck anyway. Yeah. Um, I mean, oh, man. So, so bad for the ten people that bought that game. <laughs> yeah, really. It was mean, so I, bad for them. Yeah. If, 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 did y'all see the ABGM review? Did you see the cartridge, how it looked? Yeah. 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 Best cartridge ever. I've never. <laughs> it looks cool, but I mean, it's like, what? Everybody I mean, should have seen right through that game. Uh, horrible pun. <laughs> it shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't, even, like, it shouldn't even, be, been exist, even existed. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, at, at the yeah, Enterprise, that's not the only piece of crap they... Well, I think they was about to make some sort of 
con- controller or something. J Man can elaborate further yeah, on that. They had a prototype. Yeah, they had, had a prototype game. with the yeah. The game was like right in the middle. It was like bigger than the uh, Virtual Boy controller, and it was just a prototype. But it was yeah, horrible. Yeah. The action I mean, game master. Is there is there like a picture of that somewhere? Yeah, that's, that's what I was looking at. It was like kind of like where you could like use one of your hands to like control the D pad, and then you'd have to have like a buddy like a foot away from you to you know hit the other buttons. <laughs> wow, I mean, you need like a tripod or something to, to set it up. I'm su- I'm surprised Active Enterprises went out of business. Those are innovative things, man. I mean, I wonder why they went under. Anyway, uh, unsolved mysteries. Now, actually, 52 on Genesis. Granted, it still sucks, but it's still a major improvement over the NES version. Huh. Yeah, um, in some parts. <laughs> but the Cheetah Man version of Genesis, actually, 52 is just weird. I mean, I know, one of, music. I know the one on the NES is weird, too, but I remember seeing Navy Genius review on the Genesis. It's like, what? What, uh, yeah. Anyway, actually, 52. And you guys have any more, anything more to say about that game before we move on? It That's sucks. Like good music. I remember Cheetah before Man my my account was closed, I actually did a whole run through of Cheetah Man, and that was kind of torturous. Oh, wow, yeah. wasn't the music awesome? Yeah, the music was okay, but <laughs> oh, it's kind of catchy. Cheetah. That's the same music that they used in the uh, I don't know the name of the game, but I did a video of it. It's called Super. I called it Super Japanese Kitty. Oh, Soyobon oh yeah, Soyobon yeah. action. I did yeah. that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's probably the only good thing <laughs> Action 52, I guess, is that it had the catchy cheat me music, I guess. Plus power. But anyway, um, okay, uh, someone else's turn to pick a game they want to make fun of. I got one. Okay. And this is a game that's not been covered very much. I covered it last year in my Halloween video. It's called Ghoul School. Oh. And, the, okay, the, the, the main character looks kind of like uh, Bart from... Bart versus the Space Mutants. Yeah. And there's just like a... There's really no ground. It's just like... The whole background is brick, and just like you're somehow walking across part of that brick. There's no real ground there. And you're just like fighting stupid bats. I don't know. They're not like bats. They're like big eyes. And it's just... It's ridiculous. You get... To uh, you walk for like about a minute or two, and then there's like invisible stairs along the same brick background, and then you climb up and then you you do more of the same. That game is was a, uh, that game was an Action Fifty Two reject. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it could have been one of the Action Fifty Two games. It was just so <laughs> stupid and pointless. Who made it? Who made I that game? Don't know, but I hope they. I don't think they never made it. another game after that. So they they, they put their name on the on the box or whatever. We didn't want nobody to know that we made this piece of crap. Probably I think it was project. on there at the beginning, um, but yeah. See, Action Fifty Two and and Ghoul School, those are games that are like made for like project games in school where you use in like video game making class or something. Yeah, it would cut right. it there, but I can't believe they actually I think they'd be rejected there. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, well, it would have been good enough to make a C and pass, but I mean. Not to be released in public for sale. That's just ridiculous. Maybe they Maybe. made games like that to keep kids in school. <laughs> Listen, no, kids, either. video games suck. Play this one. Didn't you work. hated yeah. that game, didn't you? Stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> or probably wanted to uh, get them off playing video games and do the homework or something. <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, yeah, that's a, a cool school. So there, there was no ground in the game. Well, I guess no you have ground like, at all. Man, uh, yes. oh. just brick Wh- whoever, whoever made that game should be grounded. Imaginary. Uh, that was the company they made. <laughs> they should get bricks thrown at their face. You have a lot of ground to cover in that game. No, it's good. Um, well, okay. Uh, anybody else have a game you want to talk about? I got one. All right. How about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Oh, oh man. You had to go there, did you? That's a, that's a game that even AVGN didn't want to really do an in-depth review on. Well, I had the game when I was a kid. Oh. <laughs> that was torture. Oh. oh, that's, yeah, playing the game when you were a kid is even worse than playing it now go, Playing it now for the first time. Like you owned it or, or did you rent it? I owned it. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 it, it, it pwned you. Um, owned. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, I mean that. I I, I played a little bit on my emulator a long time ago, and I gave up within three minutes. I'm like, screw this. I don't think I can do a let's check out. Let's check out a long time no play or, of it, or like a quick video of it. I mean, it's I've seen a full playthrough of it, a full run on YouTube, and yeah. it was weird. I forgot the ending. I don't. There was two endings actually. Well, I. If you die, you live. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, speaking of endings, I mean, whoever made that game probably uh, they probably ended their uh, their run as a video game company because who made that game anyway? Banda? Bandai, they, yeah. I think they, I, I, I think they published, published uh, it, but whatever, yeah. Bandai, they should have stuck with action figures or whatever the heck they made. Um, yeah. they, they remind me of Mattel. They, they remind me of Mattel. They made Barbie for the NES. <laughs> they made. Which I can understand why they did that, but then they make, they try to be cool, and they try to make a game called Bass Street Brawler. Oh, which, that's a which, bad game. Which is uh, the worst beat em up game I've ever seen. Renegade is ten times better, and I stand by that. Renegade is ten times better. You play as this Duke Nukem wannabe with Daisy Dukes on, <laughs> and it, it's ridiculous. Spunky's reviewed it. And that's what I'm able to subscribe to him, as a matter of fact. Uh, I did a parody review of it. It kind of sounded like Skip Rogers style, but this before Skip Rogers. I did a parody <laughs> review of that a long time ago, in 2008. Um, the game is just <laughs> an absolute joke. And it's games like that, that uh, just like Kodak should have stuck with only making cameras instead of uh, video game tip, uh, v- VHS tapes. Mattel should have just stuck with Action figures, Barbie action figures, or whatever, and Band Aid or whatever they're called, should have just stuck with uh, whatever they made. Yeah. <laughs> Bandai. Well, now wait a minute. Bandai's made some pretty good games like Dino Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that too. Yeah, yeah so it, it, Dino it, Wars it, is not a bad it's, game. It's, it's not a bad game. It's just mediocre. You know, it, well, Bandai's know, it is kind of a bad game, but. I don't know. I liked it when I was a kid, but now it's yeah, they, yeah. it's just they merged with they merge with Bandai, uh, Bandai merged with Namco. They've done the recent Soul Calibers and uh, oh yeah, uh, okay. beautiful Katamari. Okay. Calamari. I guess they redeemed themselves a little bit there. Um, but let's see. Uh, we got to talk about this. I like Bandai. <laughs> you like bandits. We, I like to suck your band aid. Shut up. Dark Gentry's like, Shut what, up. I, what I joined this podcast for? Who are these guys? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, you've uh, stumbled into to, uh, some randomness here with the S2K. That's what we're all about. Um, I'm sure you know sure. that. <laughs> Dark Gentry is an ECW subscriber of ours. So uh, I think actually we're the ones that are stumbling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bumbling, stumbling. Yeah. Like I said, this is a random podcast we wanted to do for a while, actually. We try to get Green in it, but he's having a hangover from his birthday. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> we want to go sleep. Uh, so uh, I, I really want to talk about this. And this is a game we've been mentioning off and on lately in some LPs that we despise. It's one of the most boring games you can ever come across. And that game is actually J-Man's favorite, Shadowgate 64. Yes, <laughs> finally. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Yeah, I mean, wow. Now, I don't know if I should say this or not, but Action 52 is actually more fun, and I use the term loosely, to play than Shadowgate 64. I well, yeah, 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 but I getting know. a root canal is I, more fun. <laughs> I don't know. I, I love I love getting that headache to try to get out of the jail cell. I just I, I mean, love that. Well, that's, I mean, I got past that part. It, it kind of took a little bit of work to figure it out, but... I know, but the, but that makes the game for me is is just is that much right there. I mean, that... Uh, Once you get out of there, that, that headache, it stays with you, and it brings joy to the rest of the game. Yeah. Um, and I, now, Venom22, if he's listening to this, he's going to start laughing and agreeing with me. Um, back in 98, so 99... shut up, Venom. <laughs> Back in 98, 99, I saw this on the internet and in magazines, Shoggy 64 being released. I saw pictures of it, and, as you know, it's uh, like it's 
3D now. It's not just point and click like on the NES version. And I was like, oh, man, I got to get this. Yeah. And I, so I reserved it as special effects. And when I got it out, <laughs> and Lewis Venom took me there to get it. I got it out. And uh, me and Lewis went back to my place to play it. And I wasn't quick to judge it yet, but let's say I had the Eric Man super face as I was playing it. I was like, all right, yeah, here we go. And then before I knew it, I was getting, I was yawning, and Lewis was kind of like getting tired, and we was walking around figuring out what to do next. The music was like, Ugh. And th then like finally, but then a week later, I'm like, this game sucks. What was, oh, what was I think? Well, I was thinking, you know, Shellgate, all right, now it's going to be 64 style or 3D. You can move around and stuff. Oh, man. Uh, I, I was let oh, down hard. Uh, well, that oh. wasn't the only reason he had uh, Venom over. <laughs> no. Right. But anyway. Um, <laughs> it was kind of a point-and-click adventure because you point-and-click towards the power button. You turn it off. Yeah, exactly. And I even had a poster poster that came with it. I put it on my wall when I first played it. All right, gosh, I'll get season four. Yeah, let's play it. What? <laughs> so I was like. I took it back. I think I sold it back to them or something. However, that stuff works. I don't know how. I haven't done that stuff in a long time with those stores, special effects, like whatever. Trade in. You lost half. I traded. I, trade I, I traded in or I sold it. I sold it. And I think I, you know, I, I got more money for it back than I would have gotten it from a uh, GameStop. But anyway, right. um, I mean, yeah. And Lewis to this day will still make fun of me. You, you hyped that game up. Shut up. Okay. I mean, how am I supposed to know? I mean, it's a risk when to take. Shout gave for the NES was ECW. Why couldn't the 64 version be ECW? Because it makes sense. Read the magazine for a review. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> not even, no, I didn't read a review. It was previews of it. The game hadn't come out yet when I was looking at these pictures and, and all that stuff. And I played it, and I didn't look at the magazine reviews till after I played it, and I remember reading a sentence, I don't know if it was EGM Magazine or somewhere, where they said, uh, Greatest game well, ever. <laughs> No, no. He goes, blah, 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 sleep-inducing gameplay. And I was like, that is so true. Because I was literally, I mean, and I'm not kidding, literally falling asleep, getting tired, and just playing, walking around, picking up flowers. He found a flower. He found a paper. Oh. Do, 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 I, do. I, thought, I thought you read that, and then you went to go buy your coffee back. No, no. <laughs> um, and now we guys heard the music, and he, he this, and we guys are a fan of pretty much any video game music out there and he heard Shoutgate 64 music and he could tell you the same thing that music sucks yeah, it's not my cup of coffee yeah, it's not my cup of green tea yeah, it's not but, my uh, cup of green balls tea it's not my <laughs> cup of shut the hell up <laughs> <laughs> well Jin, you ever played that game? Um, to be honest I never played Shoutgate 64 consider yourself lucky just stick yeah. with Shoutgate <laughs> the stick with oh, the yeah. original Shoutgate and I know this is a horrible uh, video game podcast thing, but for a good game, check out what well, looks good. I haven't played it yet. Beyond Shadowgate looks freaking ECW. And you want know, to check out Retro Gamer 3's review on that, or yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of other reviews on YouTube. That game looks pretty cool. But Shadowgate 64. Isn't that what you said about Shadowgate 64, though? <laughs> well, I'm, I've seen, actually seen footage. You know, back then it was on YouTube and stuff. I mean, but now I've seen footage and a review of it, and it looks cool. I'm not gonna say it is cool, but it, it looks tr it looks much more 90% promising than Shadowgate 64. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Shadowgate 64. I'd rather play Action 52 seriously, because at least there's some lousy stuff. <laughs> I can't imagine ABGN doing a review of Shadowgate 64. How are you gonna add a comedy to that? That's I mean, where the game really sucks is when you can't even make fun of it. Yeah, that's why Don War sucks. Sorry, J Man. Uh, <laughs> Hey, but I can make fun of that game. Damn it! <laughs> it has redeeming qualities in some parts, so it's not that bad. It's good for Insomniac. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Right, who's next? Uh, who? Anybody else want to? We got. We got. Uh, I don't know because luckily I never, ever, ever like had a played like a bad game during my childhood, which I'm lucky. I was bought good games. Thank God. Boiled. <laughs> that was like two years ago. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but like, no, I don't. Remember, I don't yeah, that's I don't right. You're, you're you're 15. I forgot. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a 16. But, um, go to bed. All right, Richard, you're being 12. <laughs> yeah, anyway. but this is not really a 
a bad game if I had my child, but like games I play now would do the emulation stuff. Oh yeah, there's a lot I've experienced and oh god, it's hard to choose from many different consoles and games. Jesus Target Christ. Target Renegade. No, I love that game. <laughs> Why do you have to troll me with that? Sorry. Why did you have to say it before I said it? <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be J Man saying he hates it more, doesn't he? I don't know, it doesn't care. You all hate it. I actually got beat up in school for playing that, so I hate it more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, think that was re- I think that was just the original Renegade. Boy, whatever. Oh, okay, yeah. let's see. It's one game. I can just name all The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle Man. Yes, that just, uh, I see that. That guy played that too, but pff, I can definitely say, because I take my like uh, qualities of how a game really sucks from, you know, um, what is graphics, uh, story, music, uh, gameplay, and fun factor slash replayability, and that game has like negative a million like to that. God, that game just sucks so much in all factors. It's not worth but did, it. Didn't G.R. Foley make the music in that game? No. No, it would not be a bad game. We guy would not mention it. Yeah. <laughs> I, so much, no, I, so never, I never played that game. Who made that game? Oh, uh, the same people that made Wayne's World. I mean, yes. Ooh. Wait, Wayne's Ooh. World? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there's, there's, a, a kinda, there's a bad game. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Ironically, the people that made those games, they wanted to make Prototype on the Xbox. They go from that. They also made Terminator on the NES. How can that come to people from making these oh, horrible gosh. NES games to making one of the kind of really actually great games? Prototype? You mean Mindscape? Prototype you know, sucks. Oh, whatever. That's what I well, definitely. Yeah, Mindscape. Um, I liked uh, Marvel Madness. Now, of course, I guess that was just like a port from, you know, like the arcade yeah, games, but... Didn't they do Definitely. Dirty Harry also? Yes. 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 Oh, that's what I was thinking. Dirty Harry and Captain Planet. Oh. Hey, don't forget, Cornstack actually did uh, play through uh, Dirty Harry. Yeah. Yeah, I brought that. That's why that's 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 not saying a lot. That's why yeah. I subscribed to Cornstack because I seen that and I was like, this guy's ECW for getting past the first level. Anybody that can get past the first level in Dirty Harry has made my day. Oh, uh, get, get it? <laughs> Go ahead. The Core Shack, um, another bad game, Back to the Future Part 2 and 3. Oh. Um, this is when I subscribed to Core Shack. This was, um, I guess, about three years ago now, um, when he was under the original Core Shack channel. He did a full playthrough of Back to the Future Part 2 and 3, but it was just like the, the Back to the Future Part 2 part where you had to match, like, the 30 treasures to different rooms and stuff. And it was, like, 14 parts on YouTube. So it was, like, 14 10-minute parts. And, I mean, that game is so horrible, but for him to, like, go through all that, and it was just, it was crazy, and that's when I subscribed to him. That was, like, in 2007. But, yeah, that's it. to him because you felt sorry for him that he went through that. And he's like, you know what, he at least it was just my sub. No, it wasn't that. It was just like, wow, <laughs> you actually went and, and did that. That's pretty. That's pretty fucking cool. So yeah. That yeah, was... just like that kid from Ireland did. Uh, I don't know his YouTube name. Maybe somebody can tell us. Uh, he was like a 15, 16 year old kid that did the whole 52 parts of Action 52. Uh, we played all 52 games. I'm like, I didn't watch it all because I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I respect what this guy's doing. His his videos were entertaining, but I didn't feel like watching all of them. I was like, you know, uh, so I mean, yeah, I'm hiring for doing that, and I was like, wow. Yeah, it was, uh, he, it was the same. Like, yeah, it was the same basic ideal as where I played through all of this, so you don't have to, even though you wouldn't have anyways, and nobody else would have. Yeah. But I still did it, and so that's you know pretty cool. But Dirty Harry is so stupid that it made for ECW commentaries on the SGK channel. Oh, absolutely. That game was fun to LP. And Not as good as Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Another bad game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, here we go. And you know what? That game is still more fun than Shadowgate 64. Oh, because, easily. Because the storylines and well, what do we want? And Avi Jen's review was freaking hilarious. And we mentioned this, I think, in older podcasts. Um, we, uh, I think the S2K one-year anniversary podcast we did about a week ago, we were going – we came up with the idea, Jeff did or somebody did – Hey, yeah, you know, Jeff. let's do Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. And then on the same day that the S2K channel was created in 2009, on July 20th, ABG uploads the trailer to Plumbers Don't Wear Ties on YouTube. 
Oh he did it to oh. Conus. He did it to he, Conus. He beat <laughs> us to it. And we uploaded part one as a very response, and what a shocker, it was never accepted by Kyle, Justin, or whoever runs the page. <laughs> um, Mike Mate or something. He's probably that screw attack guy. Mike Mattel, the maker of Barbie for the NES. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, speaking of that, I, I really shocked people when I did that video. Let's check out Barbie for the NES. Even people, my, people in my job is like, what the heck were you thinking? What are you doing? I saw your video on your YouTube. You're playing Barbie for the NES? And I got fired. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but <laughs> I... Good. You should have. <laughs> it, it was like, I, I, I knew I was going to, uh, if not, well, not troll people, but just... Throw a curveball at people like, what are you doing? Even the unknown was like, dude, what are you doing? I was like, I got to do this just for the lols. I don't care if, what people think of me. And I was just, yeah, I was like, yeah, I got to do it LP of the, or As in calling uh, you a fan, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, so, yeah, I had to, I had to do that. That was that was kind of fun to do. Uh, but, <laughs> I mean, it had to be a hardcore barbecue. It was fan. fun to do. <laughs> Better than LP and Barney's hide and seek game for the Sega Genesis. Oh dear God! Oh, Remember God. I did that week, guys. <laughs> oh God, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was so low. so bad, too. So horrible. They got God. bears hide and go seek for uh, the 360. No. <laughs> the answer Worst is thing. toys in my pants. <laughs> oh, dear. Spoiler alert! alert. Well, it would have had to been for the Nintendo yeah. Wii. Well, messing with bear and seek you up the bum. <laughs> yeah, play with your playing, <laughs> playing how to go seek with bear could be deadly, but not not as deadly as Deadly Towers for the NES. I like the music. Go blind. <laughs> the, oh, the music is not good. Shut up. Except, except I like it. I like it. Except for the very beginning when the the long, the freaking longest, ep, uh, not epilogue, prelogue, whatever storyline, the beginning of the game. Where it shows all this text that lasts ten minutes, okay, not really, but I mean, it's, it's a long block of text. And it's like, you expect a little kid to read all that, but during but, they did. <laughs> but during that part, there's playing the opening music. If you slow that down, not chop it, just slow it down a little bit. It don't sound too bad, but that's the only good yeah. music's probably in that game. No, and, no. But there is, you know, I'll agree with we guy. There is some de- decent music in that game. The first time I seen that game was on YouTube. Never heard of it before then. And when I first watched it, I don't know, I didn't think it was, it didn't look like such a bad game until I played it. Yeah. And then, once I discovered the horrible controls, yep. I don't even have words for it. Well, J-Man, be thankful that you were not Bruh. one of those kids. Be thankful <laughs> that you were not one of those kids that played it like I was. I played it. Idiot. My friend's, my friend's dad. My friend's dad, his name was Daniel. He always he played the living crap out of The Legend of Zelda for the NES. No one was as good at that game as he was. And he loved those adventure games. He played Simon's Quest. He played. I got him hooked on Shadowgate. And then he decides to play Delhi Towers. <laughs> oh, this is a good game too. I'm like, this sucks, man. Go back to Zelda. And, oh, and so thanks to him, I had to play that, I played that game when I was a kid and I hate it now. Back then, I hate it now. I did a parody review of it also a long time ago. Uh, that game is WCW 2001. And that game you, blows. And then you climb to the top of the, the highest tower, and then you jump off. I've seen a full playthrough of it, though. I've seen a speedrun, as a matter of fact. It's pretty cool to watch, but, yeah, uh, the ending sucked. What a shocker. you think a game that hard and cheap would have at least a good ending to, to reward you with. No, of course nope. not. Well, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to link it to something that, um, I don't know if we've kind of covered it yet or not, but LJN. Oh, man. Actually, yes. Rotor Bun Software created Daily Towers, I think. Right. Uh, yes. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised that LJ, LJ, LJN made that game. Uh, but oh, L- I, LJN had a few good games, and they had a few bad games, yeah. in my opinion. A lot of bad games. I agree. <laughs> oh, yeah. And also, uh, Brun, Brunner Brun, Brunner, whatever the hell it is. I'm drunk. Border I can't bound. say it correctly. Yeah, whatever. Border bound, yeah. On the border bound. No, um, and border. and uh, oh what? Well, and speaking of LGN games, not on Elm Street. Yes. Now that game, That's that game is not say. not as bad as a lot of people make it out to be. The music though is freaking ECW. David Wise. The game is awesome, and but the game. gameplay, yeah, it, 
it sucks after a while. It's not as bad, though, as people say it is. It's better yeah. than um, Friday the 13th. Yeah, uh, I, I, I've never played Friday the 13th, but it looks better than that, and the music's yeah. definitely better. I had that game when I was a kid. I, I had Friday, Friday, Friday the 13th as well. Yeah. Well, Thursday the 13th. I don't know, like, I wasn't really, like, pissed off at that game when I was a kid. It was just, it was it was okay. I mean, I could, like, you know, play it for a while, and it, was, it wasn't that bad, but it's, yeah, it's still a bad game. I had decent music. Of course. Yeah, Friday the 13th got better when you found out the torch method. Nick, I, I have no I like idea. I like the machete. I, you get the machete. I've, I've never oh, even played it. The only footage I've ever seen of it was ABGN's footage. The good part was when you went inside the houses, that music was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah and that, that, part, that part of the game, after watching ABGN's review, reminds me of the Goonies 2 for the NES. Where, where you go I through those hate rooms. that game. Grr. I actually like that game. It wasn't bad. Uh, Maybe good Konami. It's, good, it's good better than uh, Super Pitfall. There's a oh, oh, damn oh, game. Oh. I like the music in that too, sadly. Uh, no, it's, I think it's alright. Best part, but yeah. Uh, I like the little beginning go. music. The little yeah. <laughs> but, oh, that game is just so annoying. Oh, man. Just, like, you don't even game. hit enemies and you still die. The hit detection is just. Grr. Yeah, yeah, jump around like a freaking moron to find yep. you know, the item. Well, you know what? At least these games we're talking about at least had an ending. One yeah. game I played that did not have an ending and was made by another company that should have just stuck with what they originally did, uh, that was Captain Skyhawk. Made Good by music. Milton Bradley. Bradley. David Wise. Yeah, by Milton Bradley. <laughs> that game sucked. I can't even believe you made it to the end. I can't believe you played it that long. I would have... Ah. I, 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 I cheated. I used Game Genie, and I uh, used Vince uh, Mode, ECW Mode. Cheater. I beat um, that. Now, I did, that that's one of the reviews that I, took, that I did, but I took down a long time ago in 2007 because it sucked. Not because of my commentary or anything, but the audio quality and stuff I had to work with back then. And I got... Uh, I got... This person tried to troll me. He posted a long comment saying, Captain Skyhawk's a good game. You just hate it because you suck at it. And <laughs> while you're making fun of I, – I picked this game when I was four years old. I didn't need no faggy cheat codes to beat it. And while you're ranting about 20-year-old games, I'll be having sex with a girl later. And I was like, okay, I didn't even respond. I just thumbs yeah. down and moved on. That girl's like, name yeah. Jenny, and coincidentally, it was also his right hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and oh, I'm like, been doing for the past like, 20 years. That the I'm game like, has I, been I, out. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. In my opinion, that game sucks. The music, there's no music except like yes, when you is. fight a boss. Yeah. When you yeah, fight a boss, music, yeah. I'm talking about, I'm talking about during the actual level when you, you know, you fight through the levels. No music. Boss well, awesome. Yeah, boss. Well, I thought the game was. I thought the game was great because yeah. I had it when I was a kid. Yeah, I thought it was good. I loved it. I, I beat it straight up. I hated it. I just think I can see why people actually like it, but to me. I thought it sucked, but here's what really pissed me off the most. There's no ending. You know, well, actually, there is. It says game over. That's the ending. Game over. Thank you for your hard work and beating this awesome game that we made. I mean, <laughs> pissed me off. Oh, what 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 he Rare I mean, developed over. that one, too. What were they thinking? Yeah. Game over? At least show the story on... I, I, they kind of did say, right before that. It said, uh, congratulations, you defeated something, and then game over. Yeah. Not as bad as Athena for NES. Oh, God, no. Don't mention that game. I never heard of that. What, what was the ending to that? They didn't show nothing at all? It's like you beat something and it, like, froze or something. Yeah. Classic. Cornshack did a play it through of it, I think, on the old channel. I'm oh, not okay. sure if he still has it or not. Game sucks. Is that, is that the same characters from uh, SNK? King of Fighters. Um, I remember that Athena from the NES was in one of the fighting games SNK made that was SVC Chaos. But since this is a worse video game, I can name a few SNK uh, games that they made that were pretty awful. Uh, King of Fighters 12 I thought was pretty awful in my opinion. I loved Fatal Fury, the very first one. That's the only King of Fighters game I really got into. I, after that, I just didn't care. I, I'm mainly a Street Fighter fan all my life. Street Fighter for life. Me, yes, I, I mean, I, SNK, the only game that I cared from them was uh, Fair Fury for the Sega Genesis. The very first one where you play as uh, Raiden, the, the mask guy, plus that big Van Vader. Uh, oh, yeah. 
And uh, the game had no women in it, though. No women fought it, except for part two. Part two, they had May, my Shrini, or whatever her my name was. Shirano, Shiranui, I think. Yeah. My Sharona. Just smoking <laughs> hot, by the way. Um, but, yeah. But, uh, shut up, we got, you don't know women. It's too young, dude. Oh, you well, over over again, we got, yeah, he's got a wee girl. Shut up. <laughs> Oh yeah! Don't you, oh come on! You know they they're gonna have to make like the fe- female character hot. That's how you get the customers and stuff like that. Yeah, and um, that's how you sell the shitty games. Just yeah, like the hot, hot game. The oh yeah, I mean Active 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 Enterprises knew how to make hot women in video games. Huh? What about that one game where that her, her boobs are like bigger than her entire body or whatever game it was? I forgot. It was hilarious. Like, AVG made fun of that. Yeah, Haunted Hills. Oh, yeah, Haunted like, wow. Yeah, the kitties want boobs. The kitties want boobies, guys. Let's put big boobies in there. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah uh, there's no rating. There's no rating yet. They, they, oh. <laughs> but um, anyway, let's see. Uh, I'll let you guys pick one as I try to think of some. Ultra J Man. <laughs> That's why you named yourself after. Oh, on the Super Nintendo? Oh, yeah, I totally yeah. imagine that's you, J-Man, and you said yep. it was just awful. Yeah, I was going to do it, like, uh, I already told me about it, and I was going to, I was like, it can't be that bad, it's, it's J-Man. And I was like, I'm going to play it, and I'm going to record it, and we're going to do it as commentary. And then I played it for about five minutes. Never again. <laughs> it's J-Man, it's got to be good. <laughs> Hey, what's going on here? This game sucks. Game I sucks. thought it. I, it made me think of changing my name. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, it's all over." No, <laughs> no, it's giving you a bad name. Well, how about you the gave game? Give J Man a bad name. Okay, I'm done. How about the game that came out for the NES that Bear named himself after? Care Bears. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was if so only. Bad. I will thunder rape you, Ronnie. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> WCW Thunderbird. Uh, uh, I, I don't think there was even a Care Bears game. Was there? I don't know. No. No, thank God. Okay, so they made Barney, but not Care Bears. Was the Care Bears a lot more popular? I loved the Care Bears when I was a kid. I had a movie for VHS and everything. What? Oh, my God. Now, um, what was up with that That one company that made, like, the Bible Adventures? Like, they, they, they made the Wisdom Trees, trees that, that were, like, black, and, like, they weren't, you know. It's racist. They weren't like Nintendo... I didn't mean it like that. Come on now. Oh yeah, we have hands on the call. Have hands on the call. <laughs> uh, that's racist, J-Man. That. Uh. That, that's racist, J-Man. I mean, why do got to be black? It could be white people programming it too. Now I'm gonna cry while I'm playing Greatest Three. Uh-huh. <laughs> whatever it was. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. They they had like the the black cartridges. They were. Yeah, I seen that ABG Nintendo. review. But I think it yeah, was because they weren't licensed by Nintendo. Right. Uh, your name tree or whoever made it? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, Wisdom tree. tree. Hang on. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, want to interrupt sure. you guys for a second. There have been some Care Bear games. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Game Boy Boy Advance. Advance. Yeah, cool. I just said that's cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, that and there's like three for the PC. They all sucked. Yeah. They need to make one for the PS3. Care Bear's Resurrection. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're just like killing the game. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Um, what about Teletubbies? Have you played that? No, I'm just kidding. There's, not, <laughs> there's yeah. probably a game. Actually, there's probably that. a game out there somewhere. Oh, it is. It's for the PlayStation. Game. I just got, like, I, all the dolls and started playing with them, and they were, like, kicking each other's ass. I, uh, one of my and lost in, episodes of low-budget reviews. Oh, they go ahead. kicking each other's ass in the spirit of love. <laughs> it's tough yeah. love. You got, the, you got the ECW bear. ECW bear, he's a, he's a tough love one. <laughs> he Duff Love, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all the children saying, Chan, E C W, E C W. Oh, um, and winky, I was Winky, Pinky, Winky. <laughs> shut the hell up, Bear. Yeah, shut the hell up. And one of my lost uh, reviews I took down of low budget reviews uh, that I still have on on these old school camcorder tapes. But if I can get a capture card, I'll re-upload them one day. So, um. Uh, I, I did. Uh, I did where I sat on the couch with my camcorder recording. And I said, "All right, the next game I'm going to review, guys, um, is Fresh Prince for the NES." <laughs> and uh, and I acted serious for a minute. This game came out in 1992, and I started busting out laughing. I said, "No, I'm just kidding." 
But yeah, I was. That'd be weird. They came out with a Fresh Prince for the NES. Yeah, I guess you play as Will, and you gotta escape from the house and and watch out for uh, Shredder. I mean, Uncle Phil, the voice <laughs> of Shredder. <laughs> to fit it into this podcast, I bet it would be a bad game. Uh, yeah, I mean that and uh, Soundfield if they released it. <laughs> uh, you play as Kramer, and then uh, like, I don't know what the storyline would be. You got to see who can last the longest in the contest, I guess. I don't know. Uh, no place that guy that tries to get soup. Oh, oh yeah, you got you to gotta get past the soup Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to not get charged three dollars for bread. Oh yeah. You want the bread? Three dollars. No soup. No soup for you. For you. <laughs> you have to you have to go into the basement and steal the recipes. Oh yeah. <laughs> You gotta, sneak, you gotta sneak over a trash can and, and eat the food that's wrapped on the dolly that's still near the top without having your girlfriend's mother catch you. What? This is Metal Gear Soup? No, <laughs> soup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, George. George. Dun, dun, dun. Game over. Uh, <laughs> calls. Really? Uh, I hear George's mom. Georgie! Georgie! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes George's dad just smacks him yeah. the head. <laughs> Serenity now! Uh, okay, uh. Um, yeah, let's, let's play NES Festivus. Festivus? Oh, man. Oh. And let's try to teach our boss, Mr. Kruger, how to run the place. Uh. But, okay, anyway. Oh, yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta escape from, uh, you gotta escape getting killed by Joe Davola. Oh, yeah, the crazy psycho. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta have the, you gotta have, Kramer's gotta have the helmet on, otherwise he's dead. <laughs> You had the bike, uh, bicycle helmet on, but uh, and you got to try and land a pilot on NBC. <laughs> so, okay, back on topic. <laughs> I got a bad game. Kid what? Cool. Kid Cool. I never played, but it sounds like Kid. Oh, I can't think of nothing. Never mind. Go ahead. If you've never heard about it, you win. All right, I win then. You're automatically a winner because <laughs> it was a. Bad game for the NES, and your um, your character kind of like um, Kid Nicky, but it's a different kind of adventure. It's not any better. It's actually worse. You don't have a weapon. You just kind of jump. You're like a rip off Mario. It sucks. Oh. Wow. I don't have a lot to say about it. I mean, it, there's not a lot going on in the game. It's a Failed Mario platformer. Next LP. That's the next LP on the channel. No, I was kidding. Right, um, right, let's go. I bought it for a, I bought it for a dollar dollar ninety nine, and I got ripped off. I'll put it that way. Oh, Two bucks. Man. I got ripped off. <laughs> well, that uh, that that looks like it might cost eighty nine cents now. I found at a pawn shop or something. Just like Dr. Still, Jekyll, Mr. Still, Hyde. still a rip off. Well. They should pay yeah. you to play the game. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you why I sure got paid to play. Uh, what's this? I think Super Nintendo I played on. Or or Genesis, I don't remember. Beavis and Butthead. That game. Oh, the Sega Genesis version was awesome. I like the Sega Genesis like, version. I didn't you like do? one of them. I mean, yeah. and I was a hardcore Beavis and Butthead fan back then. And I did not like the games. I think think they're all that. Yeah, I didn't like either version. Either one. I like, I like the Super Nintendo. Awesome. Yeah, either. me and we got tried playing the Super Nintendo version. We both failed. We couldn't even beat one level. I know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I said I beat the level where that fat car salesman with the cowboy hat chasing after you in the hospital. Oh, oh that, that part made me mad. I somehow uh, beat that. I, I don't know how, but yeah. Uh, yeah you, you I like the cartoon much better. I'm just well, glad they're making new episodes. Woo! Ooh, yeah, I heard that. That's, that's pretty ECW. I mean, I'm serious. I used to love that cartoon so much back then. In like sixth grade, I would go to school all the time laughing and talking like them. Hey, what's up, Joe? <laughs> and I was getting on people's nerves like, dude, shut up. It's all you <laughs> talk about. Can't you just talk normal for once? You shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would, and people make fun of me about that, and yeah, so. Uh, Say shut up good. one more time. Say one more time. Say spaghetti. Oh. Say it again. Say it again. Friday for the Spaghetti. Friday for the NES. That's a good game. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta escape Debo. You gotta fight Debo, whatever. In the end, you have to keep you have to keep Smokey from getting you high. 
And you got you got to watch out for a big perm from killing you. Big worm. Yeah. yeah. Big, big perm. Big I mean, big <laughs> worm. <laughs> you got you got to uh, not avoid. If you die, if you die in the game, you go to rehab. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, Smokey, we go to rehab. Craig would just get grounded by his parents or something. I don't know. But, you, have to, uh, you have to hide behind the palm trees during the drive-by. And you have to hook up with uh, Nia Long, whatever her name was in the movie, I forgot. Nia uh, Armstrong? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we told you guys this is going to be random off-topic. and Exactly. Uh, exactly. And, uh, I Come on, am, we got more bad games. I got I one. Know, but I don't know if we can fit it. This might be a five-part podcast. I mean, what, what, where are we at now? How long is this podcast? 45 minutes. Okay. Um, I got bad, another man. one. Um, Bart I go, versus no, yeah. Trolled. Bart versus, Bart versus Trolled. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I'm I thinking of Bart's time here. Never mind. This is the Space Mutants than Bart versus the world. And I think Bear didn't want to have none of that because he just left the call or got dropped. Oh, my Jason God. Got a hold of him. He was saying so much. We're, he's going to oh. be cheaply missed. Ah, uh, he hung up. <laughs> okay. He uh, well, screw you then, douchebag. You're not yes. talking much anyway. Um, and Why are you go here? Ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Bart versus the universe. What's it called? No, the world. Oh, okay. Oh, if you want a really bad one, uh, Bart versus uh, Radioactive Man or oh, God. something like that. Really? I didn't know they made that. Yes. Bart that Man. game is complete fail. Yeah, Bartman meets Radioactive Man. That's what it is. Sucks. I'll tell you what that sucks. That game is fucking fail. I'll tell you what really got my nerves a lot when I was a kid playing. Bart's Nightmare for the SNES. Oh, I God. hated that game. I kind of like that game. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> I made a video about it. Yeah, we all yeah, and, uh, actually took <laughs> videos about it. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. I, I can see how it can be a bad game, but I don't know. It's the music, nice. though. That's all right. The music, though, when you play as Bartman, is pretty good. See? Uh, there you go, wee guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I, go. I still need to get that <laughs> Not Not bad. Not bad music, though. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. That's the best. Yeah, definitely the best music. Yeah. I like the, uh, the itching, scratchy music, too. Uh, I forgot what that sounded like. The dun, 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 dun. But, um, I'm not going to hum the whole tune, you know. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, but, yeah. uh-huh. um, <laughs> uh, you know what? Let me look through my little collection here. As You guys go ahead and try to think of something else. How, how about Secrets. that Star Wars fighting game for the PS1? That Mer- Masters of Terra Kasi? Oh. I don't yeah. play that. No, I haven't played that one. Never heard of it. I actually, I actually own the game, so it's pretty bad. Well, I got a better one than everyone knows. <laughs> Well, no, it's not better. I don't know, better, but like big rigs over the road racing. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh it's going it's ninety miles crazy. an hour straight up. That's, hill. <laughs> you know what? I know. That's that's the game. Believe it or not, that's the game that eventually led me to doing reviews on YouTube. That game is because uh, I seen Army Twenty One. That's how I discovered Army Twenty One. Someone posted a link on uh, Emerson chat group I was in. I watched it. It was hilarious. I couldn't believe how horrible the game was. That's the Action 52 of of, of modern modern day Action 52 game right there. Um, it's broken. You can go through walls and scenery and bridges. You want to burn oh, yeah. your bridges playing that game. Uh, but <laughs> it was ridiculous. And that that review is so hilarious. It got me to eventually do yeah. reviews on YouTube because I got hooked on Army 21. And I was like, I want to do reviews and yeah. So that game on so many levels uh, just. Wow, it, I mean it's horrible, but at least it's still more fun to play than Shoutgate 64. It's like the Perfect. developers yeah. forgot to put in that uh, code that you put in Hexen, where you walk through walls. <laughs> well, I kind of like when when I cross the finish line. I like it when it says "You're a winner." Yeah, You're a winner. <laughs> that that was that made me laugh so hard. He goes, "You are a winner. You are a winner." Yeah, You're I certainly right. am. <laughs> oh man, that that's that's a that's, that's a project in school that would be maybe worth a C, I guess, oh, or yeah. D plus. Uh, wow, that that game was. And then like you can like go up the mountains and totally At off the ninety road miles an hour. And you can't. The truck don't turn in a radius. It just like 
um, you know what I mean? It don't turn in a radius when you turn. It, it's still stiff. The wheels don't turn. It, it's oh, it, it's everything about it is just absolutely terrible, terrible. And there's only like four, I think four tracks to pick, four trucks too. If the game doesn't action fifty two freeze on you. Yeah, really. So use your freeze power here. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Be sure to make a map. Like, it's going to matter in that game. Uh, yeah, I know. You're going to go off the road anyway and just wind up wherever. <laughs> yeah. Be sure to just press your button down Yeah. and just do yeah. nothing else. <laughs> Eventually, you'll win. Why are you press not, be- Yeah, I'll say, believe it or not, you don't need a map for this game. <laughs> yeah. You won't make you, yeah. you. Yeah. You can make it through this game without a map. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I was just going to say. Oh, uh, you can't, when you said press, like, the button, you should have, uh, press the button, I'd be like, yeah, we should have pressed the power button as well. That yeah. Things a lot more <laughs> easier. Yeah, really. Oh. Here's the real way to win this game. Press Turn the it. power button. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, uh that, uh, who even made that game? Oh, who knows? Who cares? I mean, that's, that, whoever it is, that company's probably got to be up there with Active Enterprise, or down there with Active Enterprises. Yeah, up oh. down. They're probably all up billionaires up. now. Yeah. <laughs> they're probably, they're yeah. probably made that game for the lulls. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so that game, game that is terrible. Yeah, I, just, I just found a game that's, well, oh, it's not the worst game I've played, but it's safe to say that it does kind of suck. We did this as we got made his debut on this 2K channel for this LP Wrath of the Black Manta. Bad game. Oh. Stupid game. I mean, Potato, Potato made it, and they, uh, the music is still the same throughout all the stages. Um, it's so mediocre. It's a failed Ninja Gaiden. Uh, the only yeah. thing I like about that game is the first level boss. Yeah, tiny. tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pretty- the Japanese version was different with the final boss. Yeah, I heard of that. I need to check that out on YouTube. I haven't seen that yet. Um, but the final that. boss battle is weird. Yeah, you, you, the, you have to do it in guy, a certain order. Yeah, and, and the guy's holding the kid, and it's boom, moving back and forth with a fireball coming out of his head. I'm like, uh, okay. But as a kid, though, I did kind of like it. And then I seen the ending to it, and I'm like, wow, thanks for the reward. I mean, if a game's going to be bad and fairly challenging, show a good ending at least. And The only time I mean, Spider was useful. Useful in that game. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, yeah, so that game, uh, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. You're really uh, nice. You are really well, nice. Yeah, I'm a nice, because I gave uh, Chippendales 3, I think, average rating 2, or borderline average. Chippendales 3, Chippendales 2, part, whatever. A very nice rating, but, uh, yeah, I guess I'm too nice for games, but... That's because I mean I played worse games than that. I mean, hell, shall I get sixty four? That gets a two out of one out of one. Two out of ten. <laughs> Negative uh, one out of ten. If, if not a one out of ten, actually fifty two you know, actually fifty two gets a one out of ten. Shall I get sixty four gives a, a zero. Pretty much zero negative one out of ten. Because at least actually fifty two is fun to play for the lulls. Uh it's it's fun to play with your friends to make fun of it. Just like this next game would be. Survival Arts. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. The no, game no. that uh, really made me become a Sigo fanboy. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I almost went to the, the insane asylum recording like 10 minutes of that. It wasn't even 10 minutes. Yeah, I like couldn't even record 10 minutes. <laughs> Purple yeah, Trash it, Bag Man. Yeah, yes. and, uh, I, I mentioned it in that video response to uh, Sigo fan. Um, I said that Jamie actually recorded this footage for me because... I didn't want to. Well, the real reason because I can't get, I couldn't get Mame to work on my computer, I, and so J Man can do that. He plays Mame on his computer. So do me a favor. If I do your request of Nightmare on Elm Street, you must record footage of Survival Art so I can do it as a let's check out. Very response to Sigelfin. So oh, all right, and he did it. He's like, you know, I'm never playing that game again. This is all recorded here. <laughs> And so I mentioned that in the video. I said in the video I said the reason was because I didn't want to play this horrible game myself. So I put a gun to J Man's head and made him do it. <laughs> so yeah, that game. Oh, if you haven't checked it out, 
Go to Sicko Fans Review of Survival Arts, Gaming Disasters, Survival Arts. That game is hilarious. It's so bad that it's funny. I would say fun. Like, it's fun to play, you know, to, like, make fun of, but not for good gameplay. It's well, his, I, think I'm gonna, I think I'm going to download it now. His lousy um, commentary makes it worth watching. Lousy commentary, yeah. Like, that's where the at all came from. Yep. Uh, oh, that yeah. reference where he goes, there's nothing athletic about him at all. Which is not really funny if you think about it, but for some reason we just keep saying it. Uh, I guess just because he was talking low because he could wake up his parents or whoever was in the house with him at 3 a.m. or whatever time it was he recorded it. And it's like, yeah, just live with notice before I start this review. It's 3 a.m. and I couldn't sleep because I just had to play this game. And this is my third time recording this for a Burst out laughing how freaking ridiculous this game is. And he would talk and, low and, and breathe at the mic. I can't wake up the guards in the insane asylum. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to sound like Gunstar Hero 21 right here um, when I talk because I can't talk loud, lulls. And, yeah, and that video, that's how, what J Man sent me the video. That and right. other sick offense videos got me hooked on it. Yeah, it was and, the bad basketball games. That yeah, that. And there's actually a game that was even worse than Survival Arts. And it's called Tattoo Assassins, yeah. which oh, is a yeah. true Mortal Kombat ripoff, which came out one year after Mortal Kombat. I mean, it's a blatant ripoff. I'm surprised Midway didn't sue them. It was ridiculous. The same, some of the same fatalities. You knock the people's heads off. They, they rip yeah. off everything. Uh, they rip off a character based off Nancy Kerrigan. Um, and, I mean, it's just yeah. other things in the game. Tattoo Assassins, you got this old guy in a diaper that's the referee or something. I don't know what his problem is. Yeah, he's the Buddha, Buddha guy. I mean, wow. Now, yeah, see, God. that's why that's why Sycophant quit was because he bet somebody a million dollars that they couldn't find a game worse than Survivor Arts. And somebody yeah. did. And he's like, oh, I got to quit. Oh, a million dollars. Oh. And pay me a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. What other games you guys can think of? Oh, I can think of some of them. This reminds me of, uh, since when I said Big Reason, you said actually, uh, Armic 21. That reminded me of one, oh god, one horrible uh, survival, yeah, yeah, very loose survival horror game. Do you remember when he did, did uh, the Ring Terror's Realm? Oh, yeah, for the oh, game yeah. cast. Oh, Wait, god, that game cast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> god, that <laughs> game. But that game is, oh my god, it is so boring. It is like the worst survival horror game I have ever seen. My God! Good thing I didn't waste seven dollars. <laughs> oh, what you what you saw that somewhere? Yeah, I was gonna buy it on eBay. <laughs> Dude, no, that game is not worth your money. But the Ring Terror's Realm. Yeah, Army made it so much more funnier to watch. Yeah, I, I oh, I've watched that. That's one of the reviews I've watched a lot. Two thousand seven, when I got hooked on Army. He, I mean, the music. Dun, 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 oh, I have that repetitive dun, dun. music. God. Oh, and uh, yeah, I was like. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I, I remember that music, and I watched the review, and yeah, I just, I'm like, are you kidding me? And then when you push start, it goes, Poof. I know, that's <laughs> so hilarious. Poof. Like, I'm always like, what? Poof. What kind of sound effect is that? <laughs> oh, God, yeah, that's so hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I got watching. one. Uh, I was going to say, r- r- real quick, I don't okay. think you like Armag We Got because he made fun of Target Renegade. Yeah, I know. Remember, you said that. I don't think I actually saw that review. Strangely enough, no, I haven't wait, seen wait. it. You blocked it out. No, <laughs> I never. <Yeah. laughs> sure. Oh, he did review Treasure Master, but that's all right. That game is like, yeah, yeah, it is kind of like half good, half bad. It just depends on how good you are. Great so music, though. Play. Great Tim music. Folian. Yes, thank you for uh, Tim Foley. Yeah, one of my favorite, favorite uh, Tim Foley soundtracks. Is right true. next to Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade on the NES. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. But I got I one. You. I can't believe I can't believe this hasn't been brought up. Night Trap. Oh. Night Trap. Oh. oh. Well, it's on the Sega CD. Yeah. What the heck was up with the beginning? Where, all right, you're not ready, and then game over. <laughs> like douchebag, give me give me an option to click yes or no. At least Rambo for the NES gave you an option to, you know, like you want to set this mission? No. He goes okay, but the game can't continue without it. Without you saying yes. And then Night Trap is like, well, we didn't know we were supposed to push start right here. We'll wait for you to shut up and take us to a, a prompt that would tell us, you know, 
go ahead and play. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah, what, it, what's sad is that's one of the first games that came out for the Sega CD. Yeah. Like I had a I had a buddy of mine. I guess he was like the rich kid. He really wasn't, but he got a Sega CD like right when it came out, and he had Night Trap and like it. It looked cool. It was like whoa, never seen anything like this before. But like it was once again like the Arab Man Super Face, you know, where it's like wow, and then it's like uh, and then it's like ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> How about Desert Bus? Hell. What was that? Wait, what? Desert Bus. Oh, uh, that's the Penn and Teller thing, ain't it? I'm not sure. I remember, like, you just drive a bus for, like, eight hours straight or something. Yeah, that was supposed to be, like, a... There was going to be, a, like, a Penn and Teller game that came out, and that was, like, that was like one of the games. And there's... Um, I heard this from uh, Charlie. Hey, mate. Um, there's, like, some people online that that do like a charity every year and what they do is people donate money and then that like goes into how long somebody like plays that game because it's it's never ending you just like drive you just drive a bus you keep going <laughs> and so they, they make some kind of charity out of it it's like tag team wrestling for NES you keep playing there's nothing is ever ending I think I there is I think, uh, I, I think oh, there's a game, yeah. but uh, I've seen Sky Shark. Shark, Austin Vic, two reviewers, probably never heard of. They're pretty underrated, but they don't do reviews anymore. Austin Vic, they they reviewed Sky Shark a long time ago, and it, it, it I don't remember much about the review, so I can't, it's a, can't remember yeah. about it. It's a pretty good game. It's just difficult. I think it's one of the most difficult overhead shoes I've ever played. But also music by Tim Bowen, of course. Yeah. <laughs> the first soundtrack he did on the NES. Go yeah, on, of course, course I would know. Now going back to the wrestling thing, what was that game that you played, uh, Ronnie, on the? I think it was the Genesis, or maybe in the Sega Master System. It was that oh. wrestling game where you had to like fight the same guys like for ten rounds. Pro wrestling. Yeah, that was that was bad. That game sucks, but you know what? It's one of those games that you like when you was a kid. When you grow up, you're like, "What was I thinking? What was I, I like the pro wrestling for the NES." Yeah, that but, game was. But yeah, I had to do a long time to play it that one day because I don't remember much about it. I do remember it being pretty, pretty cool and much better than pro wrestling for the Master System. Yeah. But I liked pro wrestling it, for the Master System when I was a kid. I don't know why, but I did. Um, but uh, I mean, yeah, th yeah. Imagine that. I guess my my taste in games was weird when I was a kid. I hated Captain Skyhawk, but I loved pro wrestling. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I think I was dropped in my head or something when I was a kid. I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, tasting games is kind of weird when I was a kid, but... Oh, well, well I, you know, I played Dino Wars and whatnot, so... Yeah. But at least at least I didn't... Thank God I didn't play uh, Eight Eyes or Action 52 when I was a kid. <laughs> eight Eyes. Eight Eyes. Eight that's a, uh, that's another, one, another one that Cornchak did on his original channel. Yeah. I might, well, you know what? I, I might watch that one day, but... I don't, I don't know game. if he carry, carried it over. He might one have done game, I'm not sure, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, one game that you not only do not want to play, I never played it, but I've seen Corn Shack do a complete boring playthrough of it. Oh. And that's one of the most repetitive games I've ever seen on YouTube. Lethal Weapon. Lethal Weapon for the NES. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. And Corn Shack even had to say, I apologize if I'm, say, if I'm not saying much in this uh, play it through, but this game's pretty repetitive and boring, and it was. I was falling asleep watching it, and it's nothing against Corn Shack, not that he's a bad play it through or whatever, but the game was boring to do a play it through of. It would be more fun to watch somebody play Final Fantasy and grind for 30 minutes than to, than to watch a play through of Lethal Weapon. That game was ridiculously boring. It, it was almost, almost as boring as Shadowgate 64. The game yeah. itself was a lethal weapon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a lethal weapon and give you nightmares, Rick. Nightmare on Elm Street is supposed to be a game, I guess, kind of creep kids out a little bit because the whole Freddy Krueger thing, but no, lethal weapon. Trademark. Like, oh. You forgot the trademark. 
Oh, yeah. uh, Freddy's coming. Freddy's coming. Trademark. <laughs> Freddy's uh, trademark is coming. Oh, no, crap. no, it's, 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 it's trademarks. No, not that it's Freddy's trademark coming. <laughs> Freddy's TM coming. Oh man, but yeah, Lethal Weapon. Oh, that game is lethally boring. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who made that game, but it was boring Ocean. to watch. Yeah, ocean, yeah, but they, whoever made that needs to drown in the ocean because that game sucked. <laughs> it, wow. And not, I mean, I could see Sergeant Rick sitting there about to blow his brains out. Oh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't take it. I can't take it anymore, Raj. I can't take it anymore. Rick, no, Rick, don't. <laughs> just <laughs> pulling his brains out, just ending it all. That's, uh, now, if, if he was going to kill himself over something, yeah, it would be after playing that game. <laughs> then the crowd chants, ECW. Yeah. Yeah. ECW, ECW. <laughs> Well, Ocean oh. made a lot of games, and, and they made a, a couple good ones. Um, you guys might disagree with me, but I like Adam's Family for the Super Nintendo. I never played that one. That was a, I thought that was a pretty interesting game, but yeah, they uh, made like Cool World, and they Dark made a lot of uh, like kind of movie type stuff for NES. Is it better than Versus Quest? <laughs> we well, you know, um, Adam's Family. Reminded me of uh, Krusty's Super Fun House or whatever it was for the Super Nintendo, and also Sega Genesis. It's kind of like the same feel. I don't know if Ocean made that one or not, but it was. I don't know. And, and no friend of mine, uh, Dusty, would play the the crap out of Krusty's Super Fun House. I, gu- I guess it was a fun puzzle game. I mean, yeah. he loved it a lot. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm trying to think of. Uh, are there any, like, bad puzzle games? I, I guess all puzzle games are pretty good, are they? Yeah, mm. for the most part. No. Fisher's Price. Like Fisher's Price something puzzle. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's yeah. for, that's for Fisher kids. Price. <laughs> I just wanted to say Fisher Price. <laughs> oh, like, Fisher Price. Price. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Fisher Price. Yeah, fish in your wallet for overpriced games. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, dude, that reminds me of Fisher Price Firehouse Rescue. That game. Oh, sucks. yeah, I remember I LP'd that. God, that game is so... Fucking bad! You made it so much funny. You LP it? Wow! <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it made me feel like oh. I ride the short bus. <laughs> <laughs> but that's an awesome feeling. <laughs> um, <laughs> what about Karate Kid? Uh, no, that's a great game. <laughs> <laughs> Billy is it it. like cake. Billy I never played it. it, so it's awesome. Because Billy MC well, is awesome. I think Cornstack did. Cornstrike did the quickest player through ever with Karate Kid. Um, yeah. And now, I never played Karate Kid, but the game I played, I can see why people, people think it sucks. But even go back and playing it today is a good nostalgia factor for me. Kung Fu Kid for the Sega Master System. I did a, yeah. uh, a LP of that. It should have been a long time no play, but that's before that series started. Back in like the summer of 08, uh, Kung Fu Kid for the Master System. And I recently uploaded, re-uploaded it on Blip not long ago. Um, a good, fun, simple karate game. Um, it had good nostalgia to it. But uh, watching Karate Kid, though, yeah, that game kind of just looked dumb. And I don't know if the ending in Kung Fu Kid ain't the best either, but the one in Karate Kid really got on my nerves. He showed Mr. Miyagi, what did he say, congratulations, Daniel son. And it's like, I know Cornstrap may look easy, but... When you play as a kid, it looked like it'd be freaking hard. And you, if you finally get through that, and you see that ending, you're like, wow, thanks. You're going to make me paint the fence now all over again, or or what? <laughs> that sucks. At least had it, but at least it had an ending. At least it had an ending, unlike Scott Hawk. But, um, well, I think we're going to keep you down. Well, that game was definitely not the best around. Um, This game will keep you down. <laughs> it sucks balls. Um, Tim Fullion didn't do the music. I know. <laughs> Arch or Gia. Or any Arch other Fiend, what? Oh, Gia. Arch Fiend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's probably about it. You, you think that's about it? I think we're. White Man Can't Jump. Bad Atari <laughs> Jaguar. Worst Atari Jaguar game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you hear me, J Man? How, how do you gauge? How do you gauge the the badness of Atari Jaguar games? How do I you? Know. I mean, like consuming it. Yeah. <laughs> J Man, J Man, yo, J Man, did, did you hear what I said? Did you? 
Probably not. Eastwatt, your favorite game. Oh, oh. Yeah, that, I did a, uh, what was it, long time no play a while back. I was shocked that they got 600 views at, already, but I guess J-Man said that's because no one's really ever heard of the game, and, you know, it's, it's yeah. easier to find. I'm like, a lot of popular games get mixed up, you know, in the mix on YouTube. We don't get as many views. But well, yeah, yeah Eastwatt, you know, if you do Mega Man 2, you get 30 views. You do, uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's play uh, whatever that damn Con- Contra. <laughs> yeah, um, Contra's like ten views. That yeah. Super Kitty Japanese Kitty. That's like three hundred views, easy. Yeah, um, you know. And like I was gonna say, yeah, Eastwatt. Um, yeah, I, I when I was a kid, I thought it was okay. Go up, going back and playing that game last year, and whenever I did it, I'm like, uh, wow. Uh, my childhood lied to me. This you game know, sucks. There was another game that that you did, like a either a Let's Check Out or whatever. Um, I can't remember the name of it, and it was a Capcom game. I wish I did it. Get the name of it. I, I did it. Let's check out of it. Yes. Um. Wish I could think of it. It's well. Let's check out my. Like, you're on the streets, and then there's, like, parts where you go, like, underground. And oh. Guy and oh, Trojan. Yes, Trojan. Trojan, Trojan yes. Trojan is better. Yeah, Star Soldier posted a comment saying, oh, oh. no condom jokes? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, dang. You know, me and my puns, I'm surprised I didn't even think of that. Oh, man. <laughs> So about this game uh, will give you a Trojan virus. And this, this game would not protect you from. Uh, you would rather uh, have a Trojan virus than, yeah. uh, than yeah. play this game. <laughs> well, a Trojan virus on your NES? <laughs> oh, you haven't played that one yet? Look, I'll oh, send it to you. No, I'm going to send it to you. Trojan, <laughs> Trojan. <laughs> Trojan you'll, have a, you'll have a big pop up in the middle of, uh, the middle of your screen. Leave me alone. <laughs> Tro- Trojan's mediocre. Arcade version was better. Yeah, uh, Trojan's mediocre at best. I rented it from Flix a long time ago when they were still around. I don't think Netflix. they're still around now, and I don't think you ever heard of Flix, but nope. it's kind of like Blockbuster Video Place. Mr. Video. Mr. Video. <laughs> and uh, I-, I rented it, and the reason why I rented it is because it said Capcom made it. I'm like, yes. This game has to be ECW. Well, I didn't say that back then. ECW wasn't around yet. But you know what I mean? This game has to be cool. Um, yeah, it was just Dinosaur Wars. Okay. You know, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't all that great either. And what's funny, though, I graduated from uh, University High School here in my hometown, and uh, they're called the University Trojans. <laughs> so uh, I was like, okay, um, this school brought to you by Trojan for the NES. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that you game was eh. <laughs> yeah. I, actually, you know, I'm not kidding. I think they did kind of promote Trojan condoms there. Safe sex, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Promote well, promote safe sex. I guess use Trojan condom because you know with the universe how Trojans. <laughs> oh, silly Capcom. <laughs> yeah, well, that yeah, Trojan was eh, okay. I disagree. Yeah, this, is to, this is supposed to be worst video games of all time, not eh, okay video games podcast. I, got, I, I told you for the third time, this is a random uh, 3, yes, 4, I 5 a.m. Sugar Rush podcast. So yes, I know, I know. I'm just trying with to that, see I got three yeah. letters for you. ECW. Okay. Uh, commentary here. I mentioned you know, it because it sucks. Why don't you make it like a tree and get out of here? No, uh, why don't you make it like bear and... and uh, Split. No. <laughs> Once you make like a tree and not play these bad games. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of these puns we're making, don't play Back to the Future 1, 2, or 3. Back to the Very Future. True. Well, 2 and 3 is in one game, but you know what I mean. Right. Back to the Future 1 was, uh, I never played it, but I've seen APG and play it. It looked like Paperboy gone wrong. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like, uh, why don't a gamer review that? And, oh, man. Well, I don't know. I, I like that music that starts yeah, I right like when you turn on the game until oh, you what? stop the game. I like, I like how it plays all the way through. There's no different music. It's just that one music. It's just like Ghostbusters for the NES. You turn it on. Oh, man. One music, and it goes all the way through. Oh, uh, yeah, Ghostbusters on the NES. That sucks. <laughs> that's, that's bad. This is a tin folium. 
Where's Sunset? Oh, uh, you know, you know what, Jamie? When you said uh, music that plays from beginning to end, that made me think of one game. I can't believe I didn't think about it till now. It's worse than Deadly Towers, almost as bad as Shadowgate sixty four. Oh, I, I did a peer review of this a long time ago. Game Tech, you fail for making this piece of crap. American Gladiators for the Sega Genesis. Yeah. That oh. game is brutal. Brutal. I mean, the same music when you turn it on. Dun, 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 it's not even the American Gladiators theme. Dun, 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 dun. And that's the only beginning. That's the beginning of what you're about to endure. Okay, it, the controls are ridiculous. To run on the Eliminator, the conveyor belts, whatever they are, and to run on and, and to move the zip line thing, you got to tap A and B buttons, rap, or a, yeah, A and B, C buttons, whatever, rapidly on the Genesis controller. Just to run. To run, you got to hit the buttons rapidly. Like, you, like you're firing, like if you're trying to uh, fire in Contra, you hit the buttons, you know, rapidly with your fingers. That's how you run in that game. That is ridiculous. That game was so stupid that me and my friend, when we were kids or young teenagers, he had the cartridge, and we just did wrestling moves on it and power bomb and razor's edge on it and everything and stomped on it. Poor yeah, water. Slap, slap the elbow. Bam. I mean, yeah. Uh, I think I got mad, took off my jacket, started strutting, and I did the Ric Flair elbow. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> it was ridiculous. That game, I rented it from Flix. I thank God I didn't buy it, but I rented it, and I'm, I'm like – Game, that's the quick cash in, and uh, you guys should really, if you haven't yet, check out my parody, parody reviews. American Gladiators. Now I'm sarcastic in that, of course, it's parody reviews, but you'll see how bad it is. Spunky's did a review of it as well a long time ago. That I mean, it, Game Tech. I had to do it for a quick cash in. I mean, it, the same music over and over again. And I actually did have fun with that game though when I was a little kid. And here's why: because me and my friend were like. Because you can pick whatever name you want to be. You can put Ronnie, put Wee Guy, J-Man. And, you know, we were like 13-year-old kids. We put, like, Deuce Bag in there or um, uh, some weird, some funny, stupid Cuss name. Cuss words. Cuss words. We put Ryu Ken. Hey, I'm, I'm Ryu from Street Fighter. Who are you? And Ryu Ken. That was the only fun thing we have with that game. Other than that, it sucked. It, it really – it's one of those games where – you seriously think about it, and it just—it's horrible, bad nostalgia. Well, I don't know if there's such thing as bad nostalgia. I think nostalgia means good, right? But anyway, um, it. Oh my! Uh, don't even play it for the laws. Don't even play it. It's not I mean, well. I step for you don't be a little kid and put weird names in there just to see it on the screen, which was fun when you were a kid. Now it's just stupid. But if you want to play a lousy game, don't play American Gladiators. Play like Survival Arts or something. But yeah, American Gladiators, that game was just totally ridiculous. I got two things to say. Number one, at least you can put an actual name in instead of WrestleMania for the NES. Oh, yeah. You can not put in a whole name. But number yeah, two, but number two, hang on, number two, it would be easier to be a contestant on American Gladiators than to play American Gladiators. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, you said it. Well said. Oh, no. Um, and but yeah, Swindoll was right in our low budget review of WrestleMania. He's like, man, what about them people in Zimbabwe with them long ass names? They can't put their name in this game. You want to get like <laughs> four char- four or five characters? Ronmo, Swinda, yeah. <laughs> uh, J Man would fit, but I mean, yeah. use the barge. Yeah. Yeah, use the barge. Yeah, Skip Rogers even reviewed that game. This is the hardest wrestling game of the year as far as Skip Rogers is concerned. <laughs> and I, did, I did love that game when I was a kid. I did because, you know, I love wrestling. Even back then when I was a kid, Hulk Hogan, uh, Andre John, and, you know, too bad the Ultimate Warrior was in that game. I don't think he was around yet. That's probably why. But, uh, yeah, I'm that – uh, You can never beat him. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, I got pwned by him in that review. That's embarrassing. How did I, how, how did I beat uh, – Whoever I beat, I forgot. Bam Bam Bigelow, but not Honky Tonk Man. Come on, man. I mean... Yeah, and then if you play as Honky Tonk Man, you can't beat anybody. Yeah. And shameless plug, check out Low Budget Reviews, WrestleMania for the NES, or at least check out the Best of Low Budget Reviews Part 8. That's on my channel. You'll see a little bit of that review. That game did not age well. Uh, fun when you were play, to play when you were a kid. But it did not age well. It's still better than pro wrestling for the Master System, though. 
agreeable. Well, then again, at least at least pro wrestling had a crowd. <laughs> at least pro wrestling had a crowd instead of uh, you know WrestleMania is just like black background, and yeah. What killed that game was you had to play the same two guys ten times in a row. Yeah. That's what killed it. Yeah, but... Um, you pretty much had to play it. But wow, wrestling games have evolved today, have they? Yeah, yeah. I think they still suck. I don't like them. Well, speaking of a wrestling game that sucks, we... we and we, we Well, I think you know where I'm going with this. Since when we talk wrestling? About, no. When we talk about ECW... We we talk about how cool it was, and how cool you know e- this is ECW. That's ECW, ECW two thousand from ninety four ninety three two thousand one. It's cool, but there is something that has those letters on it, but it is not ECW. Oh, I know those games. ECW Hardcore Revolution for the Nintendo sixty four. Check out Star Soldier and Jay's review of that game. Yeah, I played I played that game. It first came out, and I knew. From the beginning, when I watched ECW on TNN and ECW pay-per-view back in 2000, when they would promote the game, and Joey Styles, this game is extreme, is as extreme as ECW itself. Don't take my word for it. Check it out now. I seen the way it looked. It was too much like Attitude and uh, Warzone for the 64, which I did like those games, by the way, but don't age well either. And... Then ECW Hardcore Revolution, they made that, and it was one of the worst wrestling games I've ever played. It was not ECW. I don't care if the letters are on that game. It was not ECW. At you know all. I mean? Yeah, it was not ECW. And I knew it sucked, and I knew ECW had to plug it and promote it because, you know, it's, it's their project. But Don't forget they made a second one, too. Yeah, Anarchy Rules, which I never played and I didn't want to play. I played made, a little bit of Made it. by LJN. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? Right when they made that game, I think ECW went bankrupt. I think it did. <laughs> Didn't, uh, like, Vince McMahon do that? No, they... Paul Heyman... I, I heard something about Paul Heyman just did not manage money right. I mean, those wrestlers' checks were bouncing left and right. And... But Paul Heyman said, according to the Rise and Fall of ECW DVD, the reason why they failed... Because they couldn't get to another network in time. Um, the the Heyman could never be the J-Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that game, too bad the wrestling game sucked. Now, if THQ made it, oh, man, that, that would have been ECW. The closest thing to a cool, uh, cool ECW wrestling game today is if you play SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, where they have some ECW, rest, the ECW roster on there and some hardcore matches, and you, you can set, like, the 2x4 on fire with the barbed wire on it and all that stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And he plays Tommy Dreamer and the Sandman, and Sa- uh, no, I don't know about Sabu. I don't think he was on that game, but uh, yeah. But uh, ECW Hardcore Revolution, the video game. Every time Joey Styles will mention that, ECW Hardcore Revolution, the video game. We know it's a video game. Shut up. <laughs> it's a sucky video game. The only fun thing about that game was watching on a live pay per view. They showed a quick clip of it, Joey Styles versus Cyrus, and that Cyrus was his. Uh, commentating partner, and it showed Joey Styles beating the crap out of Cyrus in the game. And when they shot back to the live uh, announcers booth, Joe, Joey Styles was talking, "What a great game that was!" And Cyrus looked pissed. <laughs> he was like, "What? Well, come on now, you can't do that in real life." <laughs> Is Cyrus from the Trailer Park Boys? No, no, not, definitely not. Um, that would be awesome. But anyway. Uh, I guess that's it, and then watch when this podcast is over. I'm gonna be like, oh, dang, I should have mentioned that. But uh, yeah, she mentioned Superman we're at, 64. We're at the five hours. <laughs> oh, You're yeah. right. Why didn't you mention oh, it before? Damn it, I was, waiting, I was waiting for you to stop with your ECW games and all that. <laughs> well, you know what? Why don't you? Why don't you ECW your mouth? No, never mind. Well, Go I, ahead. I, I think that game's already been done to death. So yeah, yeah. Um, it's already well known. So. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, same, yeah, I guess same could be said for E.T. Uh, the I just feel like Custer playing through hoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't Super. feel like you yeah, the one to fly through AIDS rings. <laughs> AIDS rings. Yeah. Uh, Super Douchebag 64. Oh, man. <laughs> that game, I've I seen it. I never played it. I've seen it. I don't want to play it. Oh, man. I mean, 
Speaking of hoops, uh, hoops for the NES. Oh. Bad, bad basketball game, but yeah, anyways. Oh, man. Best basketball. Wait, wrong topic. <laughs> <laughs> Best basketball game. Oh, wait, oh. Arch Rivals? Yeah. I never played Arch Rivals. Arch Fiend? Oh. No. Um, I, liked it. I liked that game in the arcade. But yeah, yeah when, when it got. Uh, I think it was on the NES, or SNES. Yeah. That was good. And I yeah. think that yeah. might be it. Yeah, maybe. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I could be splitting out more games, <laughs> but we're not really going to talk about it. Just be like, this game sucks. You're just gonna be like, oh, I bet it does, and then that's it. That's it. Let, yeah. Let's do that real quick before we get off. We're on the five hour mark now. Um, yeah. All right. So, well, just, this, I just thought of a Armic Twenty One. He reviewed a Bomberman X Zero. He said in that review, he gave it a zero out of ten and destroyed the disc. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That actually ruined Bomberman. I mean, goddamn. Yeah, I see that. I was like, what? How can they do that? <laughs> Uh, that's yeah, it. End it. It's over. I guess that's it. So, uh, how long is this podcast? Ninety minutes. Wow! Yay! It's awesome. <laughs> the only people that listen to this is people that are on a road trip and listen to the iPod or or CD player or something, whatever they want to burn yeah. it on. Well, they have, well, they have they're they're playing that bus game where you just drive down the road forever. If you're still yeah. listening to this, you have no life. But thank you. Um, in your ECW. Right. Yeah. All right. So there you go. Uh, that's probably the longest podcast we've done, even longer than the last one we did, which which is over an hour. And we just lost uh, ten subscribers. Yeah. You guys need to <laughs> shut up. You're too long winded. Anyway, um, it is five a.m. on my end, six a.m. on J Man's end. Uh, I even care about what time it is. <laughs> because I want to talk about it. If you don't like it, I got two words for you. Make a shut bad up. game about it. <laughs> oh wait, that's like five. I got I got I got three words for you. Oh, shut <laughs> up. He gets uh, there. You just said that because he's not here. Yeah, well, he's listening to this. That's what he gets for dropping out. Oh, well, he's not going to listen to all this. But you know what? At least he dropped out of it <laughs> instead of uh, falling asleep while still on the call. So, uh, Well, maybe he fell asleep, and, and like when he fell asleep, he like hit the end button. I guess. Uh, Fail? I don't know. No, it was uh, anyway. success. Success, success. Success. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's, um, that's right, it. That is it. For this. This. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna thanks end a it. lot. Huh? Thank you, thank you, everyone, for listening to this. You know what? I'm the host the of it. Um, so, yeah, but I'm, like, taking over. This well, is the end uh, of it. I and thought I ejected from the call. Oh, wait, you're the host. That's right. Well, you're the host of the call, but I'm the host of the show. But oh, I know, wait, but, like, the um, <laughs> for everybody... Let's end together. Oh, One, two, yeah. that, let's end it together. Four, six, let's, four, one. let's just end it together. Three, two, one. Thank you guys for listening. No. Uh. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but thank you, Dark Gentoo, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, that is it. We are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. I already said my ending. Oh, oh wait. This is the jam. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got 39. I'm Darth Jin too. God bless and take care. Bye. See ya. See. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>